So now let's move on to looking at the block command in a little bit more detail. Again, we have the block command complete drawing that we're working in while the video is being created. You will have a drawing called block command available to you where you can work through whilst watching the video. What I've done here is created a little plan view of a chair. There's the back of the chair there. You can see all the objects that make up the chair. There's lines and arcs and so on and so forth. That took me roughly, what, 10 minutes to create, I would say, just using some trim and extend tools and some polylines and some explodes and things like that. Not long to create. It's all on layer zero too. So if you click on any object, you'll see in the layers panel there, it's on layer zero. So what I'm going to do is create a basic block of that using the block command. Now you'll notice the current layer is furniture. That doesn't matter. As long as the objects that are making up the block the component objects are on layer zero, we're fine. If I hover over that polyline there, you can see that it's on layer zero, for example. Okay, so let's look at making this into a block. Now, you will have noticed in previous videos, I did make a very quick block, that frame block. I can go to the insert tab here on the ribbon, and I can use create block here, like so. There's create block there. I can also, in the home tab on the ribbon, use the block panel here. And I've got the create block button there as well. So I've got two ways there. I can also just type using dynamic input or the command line, the word block. If I do that and press enter, that also brings up the block dialog box. Now, a few things to remember about when you're creating a block. I'll just move the dialog over there. You need to pick a relevant point for the base point of your block. Now, what I'm going to do is call this block chair obviously. Every block has to have a name. That's kind of self-explanatory. But you've got the option of specifying the base point on the screen when you bring the block into the drawing, if you want to. Now, I'll go into that in more detail, but you just need to make sure that you adhere to certain methodologies when you're creating a block. So when you pick a point, you pick a sensible point, either a coordinate, you specify on screen. I'm going to use the pick point button, like so. And my insertion base point of this particular chair is going to be the midpoint there on the seat of the chair. Now use your object snaps, always use them. So I click there like that, there's the X and Y coordinates of that. There's no way you could have guessed it. Now in this particular case, I don't want all of these lines, arcs and circles or whatever I'm using left behind. So I want to delete them. Behavior, that describes what the block is gonna do when you bring it into the drawing. So in this particular case, yes, you do want it to scale uniformly in the X and Y directions. You might want to allow exploding to create a different type of block. We're working in metric millimeters. We'll worry about block editor, descriptions, and things later. So if I now click on OK, that will give me my block, or will it not? Let's click on OK. No objects have been selected. So I select the objects first, make sure I get all of them. So AutoCAD knows whether you've selected the objects or not. If I press enter or right click to confirm, it takes me back to the dialog box. I click on okay, I've created my block. Now I'm on the furniture layer. I'm gonna use the block panel here on the home tab on the ribbon, click on insert. The only block in the drawing is the chair block. I'll specify it on screen. The rest of it we'll worry about later. Click on okay and there's my chair. Click, notice the midpoint on the seat as the insertion point and it's gone straight onto the current layer, the furniture layer, because all of those objects, as per the previous video, it was all on layer zero. So that's the block command in its entirety. That's how you work through the block command. You do the block name, base point, objects, behavior. That's it. And we'll work through all of that in a lot more detail as we work through this section of the course.